So, you want your pixel art game to have a low resolution look, sort of like Celeste. So naturally the first thing you tried was just lowering the viewport resolution. And from there, the game looks great. It has a low resolution look, but there's a problem. All the UI elements are now super blurry and look awful. Thankfully, Godot 4 makes it super easy to fix by using a couple of nodes that allow us to mix low res elements with high res elements, allowing us to have a high resolution UI while still maintaining that low resolution classic pixel art look. All right, so hopping into the Godot editor here, you can see I have a pretty simple game. It's just a basic platformer, and this is running at 1920 by 1080 resolution. You can see the grass sway. It looks nice, but it kind of ruins the aesthetic because it's a little bit too smooth. So we can fix that by lowering the resolution. But obviously, if we just lower the resolution of the entire game, then our score label is now going to look a little bit blurry. So how do we fix this? Well, Godot has two nodes to help us out. The first is the viewport node and then the viewport container node. Basically what we're gonna do here is render the game at a lower resolution, then scale it up to the 1920 by 1080 viewport that we have set up by default. It all makes sense in a second here. The first thing we need to do here is make a new scene. This will be called main. And basically this scene is going to hold the game and then also our UI elements. So what we're going to do here is start with a canvas layer node. Then to that we'll add a sub viewport container node. We want to go ahead and set the anchor mode to full rect to make sure that it always matches the screen size. On the right in the inspector we can enable stretch and then set stretch strength to whatever multiplier we would like. So in this case, I want my game to be rendered at 320 by 180, which just so happens to be six times smaller than 1920 by 1080. So I'm going to set the stretch strength to six. From there, let's go ahead and add a sub viewport node to our sub viewport container. And now you can see on the right in the inspector, it brings up the size 320 by 180. Next, all we have to do is just drag and drop our game scene as a child of the sub viewport. Now we obviously don't want the score text to be a part of the sub viewport. So what we can do here is come back to your game and I'm just going to remove it and then place it under the canvas layer outside of the sub viewport container node. Next you'll notice everything is looking a little bit blurry. This is because the sub viewports have their own window properties, if that makes sense. So for example, you might recognize a lot of these options from the project settings menu. That's because a lot of them are the same. So for example, canvas items, we can set this to nearest and now everything looks a lot crisper, but there are still some issues and that has to do with snap 2D transform to pixel. One downside to having pixel perfect games is that you now have to make sure that your transforms are no longer floating point. Enabling the snap 2D transform to pixel will fix this, but just remember that is a drawback. The player's movement is going to be a little bit more jittery, as well as any camera smoothing that you may have. This is because obviously you can't move a quarter of a pixel like you used to be able to. Now with that complete, we need to make sure that our mains.tfcn is set as the main scene rather than our game. So right click on main and then set as main scene. And now running this, you can see it kind of works, but it's zoomed in. And that's because of the player's camera. If we come to the camera and reset the zoom, you can see everything is working as intended. And we keep that high resolution UI while still getting that nice pixelated look.